Ooh, another flashback. Your platoon is what remains of recon. I'm folding you into the 22nd. Oh, no. You'll be going up that damn hill tonight. We're intelligence gathering, sir. I don't need intelligence, son. I need men who can hold rifles and kill Japs. Tonight, you're a rifle company. We've got cooks, mechanics, and stretcher bearers all going into the line. We aim to break them tonight, Lieutenant. Good luck, Phelps. Good to see you, Hank. You too, Cole. How's your war? Shit. Not quite what I expected. As long as I live, I will never get over that sound. Hey, who's that medic? He'll be killed going out there. It's Sheldon, the guy from the Asakawa Bridge. That guy's got no fear. He's a yeah. He is nuts. didn't make it. I didn't go out there to save him. What are you saying, man? I went out there to put him out of his misery, to ease his pain. Do you have a problem with that? Murder, Corman. That's war, Lieutenant. Ah, uh, smell the stench. Feel the horse's breath on your neck. You need help, man. Call for me tonight, Lieutenant. When you're up on that hill. I've been up there three times already. The circles of hell have nothing on Sugarloaf Hill. Get this madman out of my sight! So were Sheldon, I do believe he has snapped, uh, he has snapped. I don't, I don't disagree with what he did. If there's a man suffering who you cannot help, and he is going to die and there is no way of helping him, and you can help, he, and you can help, and you can stop his suffering, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna judge that. But then again, I'd also think that the other guy should consent. I did a little boxing in the Marines. I found it a pretty humbling experience. You got laid out, didn't you? Yeah, Cole, Cole got laid out a couple of times. Probably Basic more. Sandwich, buddy. Corned beef and egg salad, 12 cents. Bologna and ham and cheese, 10. That's a it's lot of blood. Mugs game. You'll like this fight, though. A plucky limey's about to take a beating from an up-and-coming Negro. You sound pretty sure about the result. I ought to be. I got 50 bucks on the black kid. Uh-oh. Let's get a ringside seat. Seems pretty small. What's really... Oh. That's some stiff animations. Oh look, it's Cohen. Dude, the foot was on with that his face. Oh shit! And he's out of there. That son of a bitch Hammond made a run for his dressing room. Let's find out what's going on. Oh shit. God damn you, Albert. You get out here right now. Step back. LAPD. Either what's way. What's going on? That son of a bitch Hammond has jammed the door. And who are you? Carlo Arcaro. I'm his manager. I'm his trainer. Interesting attitude to have towards a victorious athlete. Victorious? We had an arrangement. We had a goddamn arrangement! That limey bastard was paid to take a nap. Oh, so it was you fixed. Reneg. And you were out of pocket? Damn right. Me and a couple hundred other people. Stand aside. God damn. He squeezed out the window. I'll put an APB out on him. Why would we do that? He won the fight fair and square. To prevent him from getting clipped. He was paid to flop. There was big money riding on this So are fight. we here because you lost money or because we're investigating a prize fighting racket? Very funny. Look around and see what you can find. That's a good point. What are we here for? Which is Hammond's locker? Over by the pin board, second from the end. Okay. First of all. Alienist Fontaine working selflessly to help the infirm. Ooh, let's see. You look troubled. Oh shit. 
I'm in a jam, doctor. Can I help, Courtney? Is it money? No, no, doctor. That's okay. Do I have your professional confidence? Whatever you say, we'll never leave this room. Oh, crap. I talked some of the guys in my old unit into doing something, and it's gone wrong. I guess I did it for the wrong reasons, for short-term gain. We came home from China on the Cool Bridge. The morphine robbery. That was us. God damn it. I thought I could get the guys a fair share. Some sort of benefit for the sacrifices that they made in the war. Those guys deserve it, Doctor. Oh, I'm sure they do, Court. You can see how he's going to manipulate this situation. Tell me about it, Doc. Uh, we shifted our stuff onto this mob connected guy, and it's been turning up all over town. It wasn't meant to be like this. Of course, it wasn't. The was rather naive, Courtney. <laughs> no shit. Now, doctor. You should have known that then. Might I venture a few questions? Sure. Do your underworld contacts have all the morphine? No, they don't. We doled it out, hoping we could control it. And you didn't. I'm pressing you for further allocation. That's the polite way of putting it, Doctor. I may be able to help you, Courtney. Thanks, Doc. It helps just to talk about it. I mean, I have a solution that will help you financially and salve your conscience. I'm all in, Oh, doctor. no. I will transact to take all the narcotic off your hands. And you can rest assured that it will all be medically administered. I will use the funds that I no longer require for the purchase of medication and invest them in housing developments. Housing? The developments in question are housing projects for former servicemen. Uh -oh. Your return will come from the sale of the properties, and your investment will benefit those that you care for most. Does this arrangement meet with your approval? You're an idiot. The magician, doctor. Ah. Yes. Sheldon is a fucking imbecile. There's a phone number we can run by R and I. It's a bunch of names and odds. You're not the only one who likes a flutter, Roy. Uh oh. You might w not want to piss him off. Oh, that's useless. It's just tape. Is there anything else? Wait a minute. He must have taken off running or had a car there waiting for him. Like he put his car there. I don't think there's anything else here. So here's the thing, this, um, sorry, should I say this, I am not the biggest fan of this, um, mission, so to speak. I'm, I'm not the biggest you fan of this case. You and you bring him to me. I feel bad too, Mickey. He guaranteed me he would take the flop. I guarantee that you will be fish food if you don't bring me... Roy, you out of pocket too? Mickey, seems that way. Don't worry about it. My boys are out looking for him. Well, you'd better call them off. This is a police matter now. If anything happens to Hammond, I'll testify that you made threats against him. Who's the Greyhound? He's a frisky one, isn't he? Cole Phelps? Mickey Cohen. <laughs> I know who he is, Roy. I, uh, met his brother-in-law. Ooh, damn. Yeah, we shot him like the dog that he was. 
<laughs> See, yeah, there's a reason I don't like this. I think you the pretty scared back there. And it's because it does two things that I think either the next one or the third one. Operator, message or to KGPL. a case two, two from now will do that I don't I fucking internet. like. Phelps badge 1247. How can I help, detective? I need an address for the following phone number. AL345. The address for the phone number is... The Hotel El Mar. 6294 Leland Way, Hollywood. Okay. Thanks for your help. Okay, the hotel. You know the place? Flop house. Quarter a night, no questions asked. How would you know that? You're behind the wheel. Fine, where are we headed? Well, we're going to the Hotel Alma. Where else would we go? You okay. seem to have a pretty cozy relationship with Cohen and Stampanato. Do I note a hint of reprimand in your tone, Detective? Talking to gangsters comes with the turf. You yeah. should try out Mickey's place. He's got a haberdasher's up on Sunset. See if he can get you out of those old man's clothes that you slink around in. Ouch. It's a front for his illegal activities. It is that, but he does carry some very sharp suits. Probably. If it's okay with you, I'll stick with Brooks Brothers. Yeah, why would you why would you want to go to an illegal front? Seriously. Almost sounds like you're uh You're going there for other reasons that hot water cheap rates. Almost feel like you wanna see if I can buy a paper. Yeah, what do you want? LAPD. Motherfucker, We're what's your tone? The whereabouts of an Albert Hammond. No one here by that name. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. This isn't the sort of place where people use their real names. Take a look at the register if you don't believe me. All right. Wait, five years from now, all our jobs will be. Now here's the thing. Here's the one thing you'd need to know. The Hammond. Okay, so look for prominent Tommies. That should narrow it down. Yeah, that's what you'd need to know. That's what you'd need to find I'm out that, that Hammond is English. By the way, let's look at some of these names. Fucking Glenn Ford, Orson Welles, Shirley Temple, Tyrone Power. Holy shit. You gotta be kidding. I could save all Clark Gable, Winston you. Churchill, that's our man. Malloran, Malloran, ah, fuck's it. Marilyn Monroe. Oh, I'm sure she's here. But yeah, so famous Tommy Englishman, Winston Churchill. Winston Churchill. A very patriotic Englishman is staying in room 207. The old bulldog. Even at a flop house, Adley can't get out from his shadow. 207. Hey, there's such a thing as soap, you know. Go fuck yourself. The door's unlocked. Looks like he's had a broad up here. Yeah, I'd agree. Western Union. He must be heading home. You know, I hope he makes it. That crooked son of a bitch, no chance. Al Alvira Hamild. It looks like going on to his mother. Let's see. Ticket stub. Thank you. I guess a fighter has plenty of time on his hands between bouts. Yeah. I mean, I mean, fighters today, they don't... I mean, they don't exactly... Um... Oh, does Albert have somebody special? Probably. They don't... Fight, eat fighters these days, I don't know about back then, but they don't go between fights. Then again, they didn't know much about concussions and shit back then, so... There is a chance that... You know, that he didn't. insta -heat. Adrian Black's product of choice. Seems like a lifetime ago. It did. Oh, Candy Edwards. Candy has expensive taste. Albert has his work cut out for him. Who is Candy? Candy Edwards. The lady who filled out this coupon. Alright, let's go after his girl. 
See if that gets us any closer. Yeah, let's do that. Looks like Albert has been doing some homework. Yeah, payouts. Eleven grand would be a nice little nest egg. It it would get him far. So, well, then again, still so converted to the uh, the American pound. It's this angle if he has a real love interest. And what's hilarious is how he fucking bailed out again. Another window exit. Must have just missed him. I swear to God, if we did just miss him, I'm gonna be slightly pissed. Whoa. Yeah, there's his mouth guard, so we so we did I just miss him. So. That was his mouth guard. He left he left his shit here though. By the looks of it, he didn't leave much here. All right, let's get going. Advice? Let's go after the girl. Oi! Help me out. All right, fuck you then. The main reason Santa's so jolly is because he knows where all the bad girls live. You wait. Five years from now, all our jobs will be done by robots. He's Can not entirely wrong. Do we know where we're going? Why do I get the feeling I missed something? Did I miss something? Got the bookkeepings, I got candy. I swear this Fuck no, I think I I think I got it all. You can drive. Where are we going? I'm going to Candy's address. So, you boxed in the Marines? We all did. Standard training. I can't imagine you ever played dirty. The only prize for taking a fall was a thousand push-ups. Ouch. That's, uh, that's a lot of push-ups. She's living out of a motel. And she's living paycheck to paycheck. We need to know which room is Candy's. Alright, then let's find out. LAPD, ma'am. We're looking for Candy Edwards. Apartment 7. You take the outside stairs by the parking lot and turn left at the top. Okay. You friends of the Italian guy? Italian guy? Yeah. Sleazy type. Gave his name as Carlo. I didn't oh, like the look of him, me. but Candy has some funny friends. Thanks. Shit. This candy broad must be as sweet as she sounds. All these gentlemen callers. Apartment 7. Sounds like we're missing all the fun. Get it? There you go. Hey, Carlo. Like hitting women, do you? Oh, Come on. This isn't going to end well for you. <laughs> what? What was that? I didn't catch that. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> why is that so funny? Why, why was that so funny to me? God, fuck me! I know, I know why that was so funny. I do. Oh Jesus! But we're about to find out. How cold, but breathing. Give her a minute. Take a look around. All right, all right. I will. Oh shit! There's a re. Because he he yelled that same shit at the fucking stage at the um Carlos stadium. Seems to have the same friends as Hammond. Yeah, the bookies. The on them all being bookmakers. Pretty goddamn slim. Nasty weapon. All the oh, Italians yeah. carry them. A real man uses his fists or a gun. Damn. And you're gonna give that ha you're gonna give him that back. He's gonna give that to him back. What an idiot. 
You're a massive idiot, Cole. Single ticket, one way. I guess there isn't a lot for Albert in Ohio. No, sounds like everybody's out for his money. Escania sails from New York. Take a seat, Miss Edwards. We have some questions for you to answer. Look, I haven't done anything wrong. Ever? I find that pretty hard to believe. Same. Can you answer some questions now, Miss Edwards? Sure, I've had worse. I'll shake it off. All right, cool. Was the was Hammond? We're trying to track down Albert Hammond. We have reason to believe he might be in danger. You know where he is? No, I don't. I'm over Albert. I haven't seen him. Uh huh. You're lying. Sure. You were in his hotel room. He came back after the fight, and you weren't there. What happened? You can't prove that I was in the room. Bullshit. Bullshit. How do you think we found you, Candy? You wrote your name and address on a coupon. Look. Yeah, you're an idiot. Albert was supposed to take a fall. We were all supposed to make a little money out of it, but Albert got too goddamn stubborn. Said his pride was all he had left. So I told him, shove it. Let's see his pride keep him warm at night. So you walked out before the fight? Yes, I did. What's the problem? I didn't take anything. Ah, uh, list of odds for cover. Marvin or Ray mean anything to you? Could be anybody. How the hell would I know? Uh huh. The bookkeepers, the aren't they? Tell me the truth. Oh, bookmakers. How the hell would I know? Well, the payout list I just got. Albert wrote his winnings on a notepad in the hotel room. We found the odds in his locker. Who has the betting slips? That son of a bitch, Albert. Everyone thought he was dumb, including me. But he beat them all. Yeah, he did. You're leaving town, Miss Edwards? Yes, I'm going straight home. Lying cons. Albert is going home by boat as soon as he collects his winnings. I know you're going to meet him. Albert is going to collect nothing. He'll be lucky if he can get out of town in one piece. How will you fare any better? They already believe you're in on it. Hell, I know you're in on it. <laughs> you can think what God you want, Buster. I'll take my chances. Ah, well, good luck then. Run, and then I say adios to this dump. Well, good luck there. Do you want to press charges against Arcaro? Just get him out of here. That's all I want. Get out, Carlo. You hump. And get rid of that pig sticker. You ever pull that thing on me, I'll shoot you like a dog. That bitch knows where Hammond is. She knows where my money's gone. My money too, tough guy. I'll handle this. And he won't listen, I guarantee you. Alright. Later. I hope things work out for you. Thank you. It's very kind of you to say so. Bad people are looking to hurt Candy, and yet she's not heading straight for the train station? I smell a payoff. Oh yeah, so do I. I say stake her out. See where she goes. I wanna know this. What the fuck was hamming this entire time? Cause this bitch stayed there all night. Tail is broad. Don't let her get away, but don't get spoiled. Alright, and here is you. what I fucking hate it. And this is This is where I hate this. And whichever the, whichever the one is that deals with the fucking uh, thieving, it requires a lot of fucking tailing. Hey, don't mind me. And I fucking hate it. Oh, I hate tailing. Ah, you didn't see Jack ship. Take a right, take a right, take a right. Well, I guess you're not. All right, take a right, take a right. Come on, what right, bitch? 
Thank you. Yeah, all this tailing stuff. Too much slack. Get closer. Yeah, we're getting closer. Don't worry. Do not move. Come on, over the wall. Over the wall. There we go. But yeah, I mean, I I don't... I'm not a fan of these tailing ones sometimes. I'm hoping I can at least get this one without much failure. Okay, I still see her. I'm hoping that I can get her on this tail on the first try. Go, 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 Careful of her just stopping. <laughs> Screw you. Long stretch where she's got nothing to stop that. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Keep walking. I mean, she stands out like dramatic, drastically, with that dress. Move in. Can't risk losing the trail. Yeah, that's why we're moving in now. Oh shit. Okay, thank God. She's gonna go down that alley. Run, 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 and get up against that wall. Fireproof, I call bullshit. There it is. Oh, hallelujah. Fuck, I got through it. I got through that one without a seeing me. Now, where's she going? How the hell did you get here? Bookmakers? Yes. Surprise, surprise. Yes, I am that cop. A blonde woman just came in here. She went out the back way. Said she was being watched. Bullshit, I got through that perfectly. She claimed me out. On the Hammond Kid Galahad fight? You got it. I'm not complaining. We all made a lot of money on that one. Huge plunge on Galahad, and then Hammond knocks the bum out. 
So she collected the money and went out through the back door. Nope. She made a phone call over there, wrote something on a notepad, and then left. Well, shit. What are you doing? An old intelligence trick from the Marines. All right, we're getting a good picture here. Examiner, we know where drug she's star. Let's get moving. Examiner, drug star. You're behind the wheel. Why is right, the hotel El Mar still highlighted? I must have missed something there. I must have. Hammond backed himself to win. And Candy is picking up the winnings. Smart play. It is. Question is, is Candy collecting on Albert's behalf, or is she cheating him too? Car 11K11 King, further to your request, Bunko Fraud has three known bookmakers operating out of storefronts in the Hollywood area. Thrifty Liquor, 6106 Santa Monica, The Examiner Drugstore, and a Max Spirits at 1658 North Cherokee. KGPL Clear. Oh, we know where we're going, the Examiner Drugstore. We know that's where we're going. Detectives Phelps and Earl, LAPD. Relax, Cole. You just have a blonde in here, Mervyn? Sure did. That's a distinctive voice. She took me to the cleaners. 4,000 clams and change. How long ago did she leave? Maybe five minutes. Called the cab. Asked for a number. I told her there was a card over there by the phone. Oh, son of a bitch. Ah, thank you. Yellow cab. We need to get after her fast. Hold on. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Thank you. Can you connect me to the Yellow Cab Company, Hollywood 2187, please? This is Detective Phelps, LAPD. You dispatched a cab to 1487 Ivar Avenue, Hollywood. Think they did? <laughs> Do you have the number of that cab? Number 179. Thanks. Uh -huh, so where is that? We're done playing around. Get Mervyn to give us an address on Ray's place. Do you have any idea who Ray is? Sugar Ray. Hilarious. Not now, Mervyn. Cole doesn't have much of a sense of humor at the best of times. Ray runs a shop up on North Cherokee Avenue, just south of Hollywood Boulevard. Thanks. Oh, great. This is fantastic. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Where's Fine. Bookmakers? Where are we headed? Because here's the thing. We're going to go there. We're going to trail her. And it's going to go exactly how you think. This broad's planning on cleaning out every bookmaker in town. Hammond needed to make sure he was getting a bigger payday than if he'd taken the flop. Never trust the limeys, especially where a fight's concerned. Mistake we can't seem to stop making. Hey, that's bullshit, and you know what? I mean, that's bullshit, and you know what? That's the cab waiting up ahead. She's not in the car. Don't get too close. She must be inside. Yeah, I know how to trail. Now is our second trailing. Now, the problem is. In one of the later cases where it involves like robbery and shit like that and a, and a fake again, a, fake overdose. Her. Don't lose that cab. There's two of the fuckers there the as well. A punching bag for the up and comers. She knows goddamn place. I think he knows. I think he worked out the place isn't LA. He's punchy, his brain's going to mush. Winston Churchill? Give me a break. No. Churchill is a fighter, Roy. 
Hammond didn't just scribble down the first name he could think of. Uh, sure we didn't. This isn't conspicuous at all, is it? God damn it. Everyone's looking at us, Cole. Yeah, I wonder why. We're not exactly being conspi- Thanks. Thanks. Being this sure he was gonna win. I kind of wish there was a spook meter, but that's me. This thing picks up acceleration really quickly. Don't fucking do it. We're doing this all through main fucking traffic. Fuck you. You know, I feel like she knows she's being followed again. That's why she's that having this cab driver. That me what I'm owed. That's all I know. Uh, you're owed a big suck in the fucking mouth, Roy. That's what you're owed. Yeah, she's taking us in circles. I think she knows she's being followed. If she was smart, she would have switched taxis by now. Easier way to lose the trail. Way easier way. Have a taxi waiting in another position. Drive past, get out and go into that second cab. Or at least have another car waiting for you. And no shit, I'm trailed at a safe distance. God damn traffic lights. I got I got no car no cars behind me. Oh shit. Pull over. <sighs> inside. You wouldn't think of getting closer. That was stupid of me, honestly. But you wouldn't have thought about just driving up closer, would you? I think I just saw Hammond. I'll tail him. You get in there and stay with Candy. Make sure you don't let her see you. All right, I'll go incognito. Miss. It's America, kind of. It's about business. There she went. Are you drunk, Mister? You just cracked. Cracked. Isn't that the cop who caught the guy? Bullshit! I was right there. That's a lot of blood. Oh damn! Call an ambulance. Hammond got away. You know shit. Just try and sit still, Candy. Who shot you? Was it Albert? Car. They're on the way. Too late. I have a patrolman searching the depot. The chief's putting together a manhunt for Hammond. He got the money, right? Looks like it. A tough bird, our limey friend. Using his girlfriend as the bag woman and then getting greedy over the split? He won't make it out of town. That's how you see it? I told you that cocksucker was a crook. And what does that make you? God damn. Sorry, Candy. Should've got out of town when you could. The setup. Theater. And we know where they are. But there's something else interesting. It's this. This is Candice. 
32 caliber. It's fired one once. shot fired. So what now? At the theater, I guess. We don't have much else to go on. Lucky for us that she's that that they're there. Evening, boys. Should have got out of town when she could. Oh well. My biggest paranoia is I've missed a goddamn clue. You know the way. You can drive. Do we know where we're going? Yes, we're going to the Egyptian theater. But here's the thing: it wasn't Hammond that killed her. It wasn't. Poor girl. She didn't deserve that. Poor girl. Half the precinct aren't taking a vacation this year because of her. You need to leave town a lot quicker than that if you decide to screw over Mickey C. That's true. That's one thing I won't deny. I won't, uh... I won't argue with. Look at that. There's a car waiting. This seems like a long shot, aren't they all? Car 11 King, Car 11 King, come in. Car 11 King. A message from the coroner. The cause of death was a knife wound. Repeat, a knife wound. The revolver appears to have belonged to the victim. KGB Son of a bitch. He stabbed her. I thought you said real men use Carlos. not guns. That guinea cocksucker. You think he got the money too? By the way, he got it wrong. Come on, Roy. We're bringing this whole tragedy to its conclusion. Roy said real men use their fists or guns. Alright, let's go and end this fucking set up, Caper. Why'd you kill her, Carlo? Your gripe was with me. She was collecting the money for you. Mickey made it clear it was either me or you, and, and I intend to keep on living. Ah, Mickey made it. So Mickey made the fucking call. So Mickey C told Carlos it was either him or the girl. She was running out on me. And you were gonna let her? No, I let her collect. I set her up just like she set me up. Just like my manager set me up. Everyone wanted me to take a dime. Everyone wanted me to take a short money. It's for the best kid. You were washed up, kid! You couldn't climb and you were too brave to sink. You were going nowhere! Maybe, but I had heart. I was a Royal Marine, Carlo. If I lost a fight, it wasn't for lack of trying. And it wasn't for lack of courage. I didn't have much. But I had that. I God did it for it. you, and that's how you repay me! You did it for yourself. So did little boy. You did it to make a quick buck. And Candy did it to make her dream come true. Blah, blah, blah. I've got the money. All I need to do is get rid of you. It's going to be a shame, kid, but that's business. Wow, what a piece of shit. Uh, we're probably gonna want to get in cover. Interesting that we have torches that can go there. We've heard enough, Arcaro. Put down your weapon. Really, you're gonna shoot at cops? You're making a big mistake. Oh, you piece of shit! I don't. God damn it. Going up. Good night, asshole. It's time to come out now, Hammond. Put the gun down, Roy. 
That son of a bitch owes me a lot of money. Oh, well. Catch. Escania sails from New York, Hammond. Be on the next train and don't ever come back. Why? Because I was a Marine and I once lacked courage. Everyone deserves a second chance. Now beat it. And fuck you, Roy. Fuck you! <laughs> that English prick is getting away with my money, Phelps. Well, I would dare say it's your own fucking fault. Donnelly and the Homicide Squad send their best, Phelps. They're more than pleased that you wrapped up the Edwards killing. They're a little mystified about the motive. You have any ideas on that? Uh, crime of passion, sir. Uh, looks like some sort of love triangle between the manager, the fighter, and a, uh, his girlfriend. No sign of the scrapper? No, no, sir. Looks like he left town after the fight. Okay. It's homicide's problem now. Good work, gentlemen. Mm-hmm. That dude just, just laid into frame. I missed a clue. I'm fucking certain I did. No, I didn't. About Hammond sales for England after inexplicably vanishing from police custody. Yep. I honestly thought I'd miss one. Zoom me shots.